Hello, good morning. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Good afternoon, indeed. Thank you for being here on this webinar. That we will talk about biopharma and recently upstream process simulations using access tools. My name is Jesus Ramirez. I am part of the technical staff of Ocean Engineering, which is an initiative partner from from Ensis. Well, what do we do? What do we do here in Austin here? When we are experts in simulation and in many areas, right? Like structural, fluid, fluid, electromagnetic fields, and a lot other. We are at a niche partner than South Station for one of the best shadow partners at this day. One, the American shadow partner is here. By that is in 2018 and 2021. We offer our customer basic class software tools, consulting services, training, mentorship, and of course, technical support. Some of the tools of the software tools that we offer are focused on different physics, right? They have tools that are focused on structure simulations. So, Fit simulation that is what we call CFD, but we have also other fits like electronics, optics, photonics, tools that are focused on treatment inside semiconductors, industry, acoustic simulations. We have also tools for safety analysis, focus on autonomous vehicle simulations. We have the treatment for building. That means in, in the process of uh, developing it is get real type solutions, right? And all of these tools we would have, we offer this as uh, this tool and we offer them and for sure we, we can work with these consulting services and, and doing metric or technical support. We are located in different states around it. The United States, right? This is our, the places where we are located. We have three main offices, right? Then our headquarters are in Sunnyvale, but we have offices in Durham, Colombia, right? Our territories are California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, Maryland, Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Idaho, Montana. Okay. Then, as I already mentioned, my name is I'm a mechanical engineer. I got a PhD on mechanical. Main focus on, on the CFD side. I have been working on national simulation for more than 12 years. And now I focus on, on the using of analysis for solving engineering problems. And today that's, I want to talk to you something about my experience and what we can do with the access tools for, for simulations applied to the biopharma, specifically for the upstream processes of biopharma. Okay, then let me give you a brief outline of what we are going to talk about today. Then should we go to talk or to give a brief introduction about the biopharma industry, right? Maybe I, I will explain some some challenges for my industry. And after that, then I go to, 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 to talk about the, the scale up of few interventions, particularly for Mipsy, that is the, the, the main upstream process in healthy pharma, to talk about mixed processes. What happened when we have some suspicions in the, in the mixed process and at the end, by your reactors, this is a very, very important device on this industry. Okay, then let's start and let's move this. <clears throat> Let me tell you that simulation has held pharma and far wide pharma industry in the area of drug manufacturing, by reactor efficacy, regulatory approval, and also in the drug delivery. For example, our ANSYS Biogen has been able to, Biogen is a company that was able to reduce 
is the logic transfer from mom to bird in terminals using ANSYS tools. Basically, what they did was they performed mixing and scaling up of the operations. And also, they did a design experiments to quickly arrive at the optimized process. That this, this kind of tools allow you to do that. On the other hand, in clinical trial, simulation, specific imaging, and simulation coupled with another selection in the area, area of another medication help fluid up to shorten the time of approval and product launch, thereby saving $50 million. Right then, all of this just by changing the traditional way of doing design and now using simulation and specifically use ANSYS tools. On the other part, in the drop the deeper side, the Dr. Home State University uses ANSYS to prove the targeted drop delivery on long term to 90% efficiency compared to 20% efficiency of conventional method that use aerosol treatment. Right then, again, that the shift of what, what was done before using the traditional methods and now what can be done using simulation companies are now reporting benefits and reduction of cost and times, right? And basically, this is what, what was meant, right? That using simulation tools or using access tools, we can, <clears throat> can somehow or across the healthcare ecosystem or the bioprocessing ecosystem to, to work together with policy makers and the regular regulators, industry leaders, right? Consortiums are uh, also in academics to, to keep improving this, this simulation processes, simulation technologies in order to, 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 to enhance all, all the efficiency and the performance for the end and user that consumer, right? There are for sure some, some challenges. For example, if we focus on the pharma industry, there are some challenges that should mention, right? For example, in terms of key drivers for pharmaceutical, some drivers are shared by the process industry general, right? That is not only for, for this, for this kind of industry, I, I'm going to focus on for my industry, but this is shared by, by other industries. Um, also, then this, these drivers are related to reducing time to market, sure, faith to analyze failure risks and to, to deal with batch variability, right? Then, however, there are the drivers which are very much specific to the pharmaceutical industry. For example, the cost of failure of any batch in the pharmaceutical industry is quite high, which puts greater pressure on success, right? On the gate, high, high tech regulatory requirement for this industry, we have a much larger demand on product quality, right? We, the, the high regulatory regulatory laws and, and code base the demands for the quality of hiding for, for this, for the pharma industry, right? Basically one implication is that variation product quality from the specified criteria can result in that disqualification of the batch, right? That this is something that biopharma industry frequently right there, this quantified batch because it doesn't meet the criteria that costs a lot of money and for sure a lot of time. Also, like in any industry, the time to market is a bit of a factor, but the stakes are even higher when you're developing a blockbuster drug. On some estimations based on successful products shows that a half of a billion dollars in additional revenue could be gained Time to market is accelerated by only two years, right? This is a pretty good news, but of course, pretty big challenge. What this means is that the need for increased process understanding 
and efficiency has never been as strong as it is now. And sure, simulation can help with refining process parameters, developing a new process, or troubleshooting and system processes. Ansys tools are uniquely positioned to help you in these areas. I am going to show you today some of the things that we can do to help you to understand your process and to develop processes or maybe troubleshooting what you already have to, to make that more, more efficient, right? That, that's the, that's the idea of all tools and the other solution that, that we'll provide. Let's start to, to talk about one of the main things that we, we deal with every day with our customer is that they want to, to do a scale of, they want to improve the scale of process. And, and for that, then we propose them to, to use computational simulations, right? That we try to, to do this, this, these things with basically had and had with the customer and we explain that how to use the tools right then for for example when we when we go to a last pass scan up of any new operation to talk right now tank we we literally define what's the the the, the analysis right the, the risk that there there is all of what you want to do and scan up and this is something that the customers come mostly all the times that they come to us say is that they they have much disqualification of batch losses because the the final product the in the big tank is not what they expected when they compare the, the properties of the batch the lamp scale tank right then they sometimes have some escape up factors or escape up processes that at the end doesn't work and doing this experimentally consume a lot of time, some time months of reward for, for getting a, a good batch for a, in the scale up process. Then now they, they found in the simulation that they can uh, prove or they can obtain a, a scale up factor that is secure that help them to, to do the transition from the lab to the, to the, to the production process easily and, and somehow accurate and less time with less money. They literally have it with that, right? Then they, they make questions about, well, what kind of geometry changes should we be, should we do for, for doing this scale up? Then can, can change the, the geometry of the, of the model, the simulation model and it tests what is the effect of this geometry changes on the, on the, on the fluid, but also what's happening with the parental condition, should we, how we should shape, for example, the, the rotation speed of the should be a linear change or how I should we do it? That that's a, a difficult question, right? Then we can, can somehow accurately uh, answer this question using simulation. And basically we, we do this all of almost all days, right? And see, we can start with very, very small, uh, it's right. You can start with very small, very small units, 20 liter that this, uh, this is a lap scale. Thing, but we can move up to 20,000 liters, right? And the idea is that the product is, uh, properties that you obtain in the production cattle or the production tank should be the same that the one that you obtain in the, in that scale. And like this is not, it's not an easy one, but for sure, when we use simulation, we would have like more, more probabilities of for, for real, for real success, successful, right? That for example, that is the, the work for our red laboratories. He said, and I am going to, to read this only what he said, right? What he used analysis for, for doing the scale up process. But he said that the scale up, scale up presents a significant shortage, both in time and money, certain formative pharmaceutical processes. Axis help us for multiple strategic consulting products and generate necessary processes, understanding an accurate scale up condition for our recent tasks to go from lab scale to plant scale, with see valuable insights into the phases of scale up and the risk involved. 
the simulation help us in decisions making and equipment size cutting down on expensive raw material uses for testing processes. That this is amazing, right? This is how a life experience of for this company, right? Then they they know what how the simulation helped them to improve the process and that their revenue is right. Our customers have had different customers that comes to us and say, hey, I want to do this, this, this scale up process with you. We, we know that ANSYS have the tools. We, we want to learn uh, how to use it. We want you, you to, to work with us and tell us what we can do. And we have gained experience doing this, right? For different companies and different industries, not only by a pharma. And, and now we, we certainly can say that it's amazing and that we certainly help companies to improve their, their revenues and, and the processes, do it, making them more and more efficient, right? When we, when we go somehow build the scale up process, for sure, most of the application, the most, the, the, the most common application for the scale up is, is related to the mix, mixing types, right? Then. And mixing it is it, a common upstream process among different industries. I can mention chemical, pharma, consumer products, food, and others. And why the product is different among these industries, the object is, the objectives are similar, right? The namely, who is the yield, say productivity, uh, while ensuring the required mixing behavior enhance the final product quality. Also. It's important to mention, to mention that mixing assets have a long life and hands are not replaced readily. However, they may be retrofit with the different feathers or buffers or internal devices. Therefore, we can say that engineering challenges in this part, or at this point, is how to predict the performance of such assets for different products and how to adapt them for process changes. Remember that at the end, in the end, the object is to squeeze the yield, right? Then when we look at this, we say, okay, hey, this is, this is something that is important, right? And, and, and sure, the data is relevant because customer typically have different plans for different geographies. However, they need to ensure product consistency, all of this location, right? Then. What they, what they need from the scale up process is that they need to ensure the same product, the same quality to come out from the different brands, even when they have different tank sizes, right? It doesn't matter what is the tank size in different location. They want to have the same quality of the product. And here is where the scale up these technologies, these solutions that we are talking about today comes pretty, pretty important because that's what they help them to do this in a short time and without wasting too much money, right? Now let's talk something about what we can do using analysis tools for mixing R, right? Then let me put it like this, right? Why mixing can be a very complex process. Let's look at the basic requirements, why this is a process of interest in the process industry and in general, in far, right? Let's say in simple words, the object is, is to ensure proper mixing as fast as possible while maintaining certain constraints, right? For example, keep the shear and friction check, right? If the, the, the ratio body is allowed, or to make sure, or make sure that not wanted free surface deformation occurs, right? Like artists, right? We don't want that sometimes. Then for that, we can use the glitch, right? And th those have the problems that at the beginning, right? In general, you will, you will see that many customers and, and industries in general, including pharma and biopharma with fakes, right? Then what we want to, 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 to focus on this, Problems, then the solution. Well, what we should know is that a, an accurate single phase simulation does provide a lot of useful information, therefore, bedtime, 
right? That is the type that needed for complete mixing. Also, a useful information should share distribution, which is an important measure to prevent cell destruction. This is bioreactor side, right? And we can obtain this kind of information somehow in accurate, accurately using just a single phase simulation we we'll need to, to do a, a sophisticated model to get this information, right? Then for example, we we'll look here at this video, right? You will see how we can observe what's happening to the, to the, to the flow inside the tank, right? Then we, for those in this video, can see that we, we will have low, a very less low visualization using simulation. We can recognize the dead spots, the spots right over the circulation regions. Also, we can tag high shear and high tuberous regions that most of the cases are antibioreactor cases and should be avoided, right? For sure, we, with this simulation, we can run traction models and get accurate prediction of blend time, right? And this is something that we can do using ANSYS tools. When we look at this video again, we, what we are seeing is, is the, the basin of the tracing tank, right? The traces is introduced and then it's convected and around the tank and at, at the end, it would mix out to the, to the whole tank, right? Then here. We will have maybe this is like a an iso surface, right? And check what what happened with the with the crater, right? When we look here, this picture, what we have is a surface on this point, is that right? And this is when we start to do the science of experiments, right? For the optimization proposals that we think we have to answer tools that allow to to do optimization and to get what should be the best solution or the best combination, the best combination of geometry and operating condition to get the results that we want. Also, <clears throat> when we look at this animation, we will see how using simulation we can, we can detect mistakes on the process, on the processor. For example, if I click here, you will see that these impellers, these two impellers are rotating in opposite direction and uh, that's generating like uh, that zone region, a region, this part that is not good for, for the mixing proposals, right? And we have this dead zone here, then this is not good. We want to, to have like a complete mixing, right? Then if I click here, then we can see that when the pedals rotate in the same direction, this dead the spot disappear. And now the mixing is more uniform, right? And this is what we want for this case, right? And this kind of differences. Uh, that the operating condition generate on the flow behavior, we can detect and use in simulation. Doing this is, uh, experimentally is difficult, time consuming, expensive for sure. Using simulation is, 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 is a way because we have multiple, multiple points for, for monitoring and have a complete and smooth visualization of the flow This is, this is, this is amazing. Now what's happened with the, when the process becomes more complex, right? Like how we can deal with processes that are, are complex, more complex. For example, in many cases, companies deal with systems where the mixing process occurs tendously due to filling, right? Then historically, this has been a challenging problem. <clears throat> Sorry. And while it could have been accomplished right now, it can be solved. To do it, it used, it used to take a long time to simulate high fidelity and required a lot of babysitting because this simulation were greater than advanced, right? However, a good news is that the recent advances in solar technology have reduced the, the turnaround time for these simulations and by an order of magnitude. This is, this is great, right? Right now, with the new technologies and simulation at the new hardware capabilities, we can do this kind of simulation that are not simulation because they become multi-phase simulations. Now we can do it 
in a shorter time, right? The, in times that are attractive for, for industry. So for getting an industry solution, right? Then in this case, we can, we can have advanced modeling of the gas in the liquid, even without, without reactions, we can, we can decide okay, if we could reaction or not, depending on what kind of, of process of fluids we have involved, right? At the end, what we, we can do also from this kind of complex models, we can do the side of experiments to find the, the optimal operating conditions. And we, we, with these models, we will understand the basic characteristics like flow visualization, resonance, the times, what is the vortex size, right? If there is a vortex creation here and also predict that the shear rate, the shear history or the vortex formation of inside time, right? That, for example, I will show you here in this video how this is a filling process with mixing with a, an immersed agitator, right? And you will see how this, how the mixing process is, is, is evolving and how the freezing phase is not uh, affected by the agitator movement, right? Then you can see that the, 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 the freezing phase is increasing, is, is growing because of the filling, right? We can see what happened and we, we can do it. In this way, they might be solicitation, but we can also configure trade, uh, monitors that allow us to have like quantitative measurements, right? To, to, to know how well mixed is this and how fast is this. Listen, the, the freezing phase height, right? And this is great. We can do this just in simulation, but also we will have other cases where the vendor or the detailer affect the first patients. There are some vortexes creation, right? Then let me show you this video. And you can see, we don't have feeling process here, but we see, do see how the first phase is affected by the general motion, how some vortexes are created. But in many cases, this is not allowed for the process because can affect the product quality or the, the, the process by itself, for example, in high reactors, we don't want to have high shear rates regions because that will affect the, the cells, right? It would, it could damage the cells then. This is something that we can check using this kind of models right there. This is, this is something that is, is great. Right now. How ANSYS can help even more the companies for doing this kind of simulation when for doing that or for twist to streamline the basic simulation and allow non CFD experts to grow some tail CFD analysis. ANSYS has developed a mixing guide process template. Basically, a user can run a detailed mixing analysis within less than an hour. That's amazing, right? Now, ANSYS, we are helping you to do that. This template is still used the proven CFD technology underneath. Basically use ANSYS technology. Also, this template can now run, we also be run in ANSYS cloud, right? If you have, <clears throat> you don't have, you have a lack of computational resources that you can use the ANSYS cloud to speed up the, the simulation in ANSYS error. This will allow, allow for a seamless deployment across geographies and an, an enterprise level, right? This is, this is something that in my opinion is amazing because I have tested this template and this wizard and for sure it helps a lot engineers and under this to do their job, right? And help even from the very, very beginning doing the, the geometry because there are part of Geometries as other red parameters for the pattern shapes, right? The different in shape, uh, e pattern shapes are already built and parameterized that you can build them easily, just changing some numbers. And you can say how, how high you want to, to have the first phase, right? What kind of method you want, right? Depending on the, at the bottom end, you want a flat or conical, you, you, you have the option to impose baffles, right? And if you did that, you can, you can do that, right? And you can start to, to generate your geometry from scratch and also the mesh and this is top based on the best practices that we use. It, 
with access tool for solving this kind of processes, right? And this is amazing. This is something that uh, you definitely should test, right? Because help you from the pre-processing to the post-processing and to make decisions, right? Then if you want to know more about this, you can contact our sales team. And for sure, we will, we would be more than happy to, to give more information about this. Now let's move on, right? If there are other question applications, right? So as you may know, mixed vessels are continuously used, emptied and reused. Therefore, sufficient, consistent and efficient cleaning is required to boss uh, to avoid cross contamination, right? This is important. We don't want cross contamination in our tanks, right? And for doing that, we need a very, very good cleaning process. The cleaning process did needs, let's say the needs for, for, for cleaning has to be achieved while reducing energy or reducing the use of the cleaning agent, that may be water and for sure reducing the time for doing it, right? Then this means reducing cost of tennis, costs of having the process stop it, right? The cost of using resources. Let's say while there are first principles that can be followed, right? The large diversity of tanks, shapes, sizes, and internal structures make it a very time consuming process to body. When you do it in the digital process, right? Then do it real size testing will require a considerable amount of time, right? And as I said, the, 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 the big goal is to reduce this time, right? And here is when comes the idea that a well-established simulation can speed up this process, right? Then let's say, when we look at this application, besides the, the one that I already mentioned, the, the objects are typically ensuring a complete coverage and preventing shadowing or areas that do not see the, the cleaning agent, right? We want that all the areas see the cleaning agent that are clean. Then now we see this animation. You can see how using CFD, we can check that all the areas inside the tank are clean, right? And we can estimate what is the time that we take for, for doing a complete cleaning depending on the nozzle in the design of the nozzle, right? In this case, the, this nozzle is, is rotating, right? We have another nozzle here, this part. And basically what, what we, what we see is that this design is working pretty really well and practically at 30 seconds, the, the tag is almost clean, right? It's completely clean. This is, this is great because right now we have an estimation of time that it should take to clean the tank and for, uh, for this use of this nozzle, right? Then this is also important because now the nozzle that we have for doing the cleaning process is not good enough. We can use it also simulation to try to improve the, the, the nozzle design for this, for this application. Then let's say if this is something interesting that, that for sure would save a lot of money for, for the company or the process wall. Now let's move to, to another physics or another scenario that can happen when we're dealing with mixing, right? And let's talk what happened when we have some suspensions in our mixing tank, right? They are, these processes of solid suspension have a lot, lots of variabilities, right? That's, let me, let me talk more about this. In terms of the desired output. Some processes require just suspended solids, right? Whereas some require firmly distributed solids when others would be sufficient with a specific cloud heights, right? Then you see all of, <coughs> sorry, all of this application has solid suspensions all, but the output required is completely different. And for sure, the approach for, for it in the simulation side could be different, right? Hence. In terms of variability of the system, 
we have variability to different types of material used for different reactions or interaction. Also, the, pro the, the processes are different as changes in process parameters like RPM, liquid hide. Also, there are geometric quality that is quite high, this kind of process. For example, some systems may contain a standard fat bottom, whereas conical bottom tanks are popular in the pharmaceutical industry. Also, a variety of the better bus baffles and placements of components make this complex, make this a complex design space, right? Then when you look, treating with some suspensions is not, it's not easy because depending on the geometry or the operating conditions on the internal devices, the solids will behave differently and that the prediction of the position of the, of the particles and how they interact with the solids, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the Tag itself and among them, something that we need to be aware of. Now, when, when we talk, when we think about this, with this variability in the system, of course, in the design output, that is not only once that there are different outputs, design outputs, it makes an unimaginable number of combinations to rely on the experiments. It's possible to do experiments for getting and for considering all of these variations, right? Then it would be too expensive and too time consuming for doing this. Then using the vertical predictions like CFD now has become a useful tool to complement experiments, right? And to know to, as we already mentioned in this presentation, to to give information that maybe cannot be obtained using real tests, right? And in a, a cheaper way, in a less time, in a short time. Well, th this is, this is when, when I talk about solid suspension, this is something that I, I am excited because solid is uh, the weight of treating solids is, is it's a site, right? And you have the DPM approach, you have the audit order approach, but now we have another tools. It answers the DEM, uh, Rocky, the access Rocky, right? That help us to, to analyze the solids with fitted sizes and multiple shapes, uh, let's say any shape that you want to model. And now let's say we have a lot of tools that help us to, to get a great solution and accurate information for, for this kind of application. And for sure, if you want to know more about this application or any application, just let us know, please contact us to the, and to the information that I will show you at the end of this presentation, one of our sales teams member will contact you for sure. Let's keep moving and we are almost ended and let's talk about my reactors. Right there, uh, when we talk about our bioreactors, that we, we can think that a subject strains of cell cultures grown in cotton natural reactor results in therapies that easily can exceed $100,000 per grant of API. Right? This is something that is a problem for sure. The mistakes lost bashes, right? those bashes that are not good for production and um, that all because a low poor mixed environment because very cost right there this kind of industries like processing mm -hmm. industry wants to go lost batches right then for doing that they mainly focus on ensuring quality sufficient respiration to the cells, right? That this is a critical, this is critical to ensuring geo goals and basically to save money by not having too much bus batch uses, right? That this is something that they, they are aware of each time that they are deciding that they want to improve the, the process, right? From that, how we can help them from the simulation side, right? Then basically we can help these companies to ensure sufficient respirations of the cells by predicting the gas hold up 
area of the of the bubbles by using a band axis multi-phase models, right? This model is based to track the gas and liquid interactions, even predicting the bubble size and shape. Therefore, this technology allows us to use analysis to help your the biology process engineering by accurately predicting the mass transfer respiration or the mass transfer of the soft oxygen, right? That is related to the KLA coefficient. Also, the distribution of carbon dioxide and other gases, right? But in this case, we can we can simulate this the, this margin of error of oxygen inside the bioreactor, how the oxygen is distributed inside the tank, how this distribution affects the KLA, right? The the transfer of of <clears throat> sorry the mass transfer oxygen, right? and how long it will take and how beautiful it is, right? Then we can see in this video, how is the oxygen distributed? And here we have a multi-phase model, even considering what happened to the first phase, right? In this part, also we have oxygen distribution and here, sorry, this part, we can observe what happened with the, with the, with the efficiency of mixing of the bioreactor this is how a simple experiment that we can do we can put a bubble of tracer ac or base or base here in this part then start to do the simulation and see what happened with the distribution of this initial agent uh, at the end it is fully mixed right and this will give you insight on how well maybe the oxygen can be distributed right then as, as i said we can start with a simple simulation a single flow simulation, and we can start to include both physics or properties to the model to get more sophisticated bodies like, like this one that I'm showing you. Right. Okay. Then just to finish, we, I want to, to let you know that ANSYS, we would have a, a dedicated page for training engineers and analysts in mixing, mixing applications, right? That is the, the most common upstream process by far in bio processing, right? Okay, we have a page dedicated to that with multiple examples, multiple cases, tutorials, and this is in our access learning hub, right? Then for sure, if you go to this material, you will, you will get many, many information that will help you to be to have success on the other design of this kind of mixing processes, right? It, it show you, for example, how to test the, the effect of different better shapes in the process. What happens if I have more than one better to recognize region of high tubules of high shield rate. Also for multi-phase flow, what's happened to the prism phase, patient speed is too, is too high and there is an information like this part. So what's happening with the oxygen distribution by reactors, how to estimate the KLA, and what other applications that are amazing. Side. This is into the answer here. Hub. Again, if you want to know more about this, just let us know, contact us, we will give you more information. Here is our contact information. You can call us, you can play pulse. Uh, as you can, you can do use whatever of this information. I'm sure we will be more than happy to help you to solve your problems or or to to help you to to be successful. If you're doing by now. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have a question, this is the moment. Thank you so much again.